Here was the segment of the program. Notice I said the segment of the program because so far we got nothing. Miz and L.A. Knight again. The Miz is growing on me. Kind of like fungus on the bottom of a shower curtain. You know what, though? This is the most you've watched of like him doing something in a row. Usually like you watch maybe one thing with him because it involves other people, and then you fast forward through his stuff for weeks at a time. <laughs> and he's involved in a lot of stupid shit, but he's being used here in a way that he's involved with someone who's on the way up, and I'm glad you're giving this stuff a chance. Well, and here's the thing. It didn't take long to watch his shit the past several months when he was getting beat by everybody in two minutes. So, you know, I got used to that's what's happening, but if he does the brief promo and they're talking about their match at payback, but the, here comes LA Knight, and he gets the big pop again and the chance and he cut the promo on Miz's impersonations. And you know what they're doing? That's working. I think is there is, where you would want somebody in a promo with L.A. Knight? They're yelling him. And this may work for him. if he Because he's got him yelling already when he's running him into the fucking desk head first, blah, blah, blah. We've heard from a lot of listeners who have gone to shows AEW and WWE. They say people are yang all throughout the building the whole night. <laughs> it's caught on. Well, and hey, so did Malaria. But, you know, we'll go with what's working. But anyway, um, the promo is Miz is a wannabe, and he worked hard to get there, and Miz walked in off a reality show. You want a game show, mother... So Miz fired back up with all of his accomplishments, and L.A. Knight said the star of Miz and Mrs. was Mrs. And there was a perfect opportunity here, and if... I believe I know that L.A. Knight is clever enough. He thought of it and probably pitched it, and they wouldn't let him say it. But he was telling Miz that if your wife has an empty feeling inside, after your loss to me, she can call me to fix it. She sh he should have said, if she's feeling empty, after your loss to me, she can call me to fill her up. But I bet you they wouldn't fucking let him get by with it. Anyway. <laughs> okay. What? Okay, you seem to be really, uh, you think he would have gone for that long. God, oh, I had a heartbeat. Are you out of your fucking mind? That was laying right there in front of him on a platter? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, um, Miz says he's going to crush his hopes and dreams and send him back to 2003, and L.A. Knight fired up strong, and then inevitably... As these things do happen, Miz swung and du and L.A. Knight ducked and ripped his jacket off and did a nice stagger to throw it away and turned around into the fucking full Nelson Dennis Condry face buster. And boom, and Miz rolls out and he's leaving like, fuck you. And L.A. Knight gets up and gets back on him, and that's when the referees come to pull him apart and everything. And that was a good segment, especially when everybody's laid out with one move and then the other guy walks off for five minutes. It was nice to see L.A. Knight come back, and, and they got in another skirmish that had to be separated by authority figures. But that was a good set. That was the best segment on the program. Those two have had a few great segments now, or good segments. I don't want to say great, but really good segments. And I think a few of them have been the best on the program they were on. They've kind of been doing Raw and SmackDown. Miz is really good. His facial expressions are great, too. L.A. Knight, I was impressed where at one point he lost it. Whatever he was trying to say, he lost the phrasing, and he started the, the, stumbling. The, 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 uh, the pay line. Shop. The pay line, or I think he called it at the end. He lost his phrasing, and then he recovered. And I was impressed by that. Yeah. Well, and, and and you could see him start to chuckle like, oh, God damn, I'm going to go down in flames over payday, launch, <laughs> payday <laughs> loans shop, and then he got it. See, I can't say it either now. Uh, but, it, but yes, uh, we give him applause uh, on that one. All right, 